good morning again. Another beautiful day, California. And uh, before I get started today, one of the comments that I've received is that uh, I speak a little slowly and uh, could I speak faster? And I'm not sure that I can speak faster than I speak. I, I can try, but uh, I did recognize that even when I'm listening to myself as I'm reviewing these talks, uh, I do tend to, uh, if, I'm, if, it, if I'm looking at it on YouTube at least, I do tend to go down to the little cogwheel control panel thing there and uh, speed myself up to two times the normal speed so that it's tolerable. So uh, if you're finding that I speak too slowly, then you know by all means do that. That's what I do when I'm listening to myself and when I'm listening to lots of other people too. So. All right, I'm just going to speak normally, and if you want me faster, then speed me up. I don't know if that works on Facebook. Uh, okay, this morning, what I want to talk about is uh, a little bit of a follow-on from, from yesterday. Yesterday, we were talking about your true self versus your aspirational self. This morning, I want to talk about um, other kinds of selves that you might need, like a business self. What do I mean by that? Um, there's a lot of people, and I, I do include myself in that, who are not totally at home in a business environment where you're meeting lots of people and they're all wondering what can you do for them and maybe you're supposed to be wondering what can they do for you, but really you just want to get to know them as people because you're just a people person and uh, it's not necessarily for you all about uh, finding the advantage that that person has for you or letting that person find your advantage that you have for them. In some sense there's something that to me at least seems a little impure. Uh, uh, yeah, a little impure about these kinds of networking events that people go to where it's all about figuring out what you can do for each other but you know to a certain extent that's business business is about figuring out what you can do for each other and and uh, so we have to do that sometimes so what happens if you're one of these spiritually woke people who just loves other people and loves philosophizing about life and such but you know you have to go out there and sell you have to go out there and make a business for yourself, you pull in some money, etc., etc. And I don't by any means want to say that there's anything bad about doing that. It's necessary. It's a realm of life that we need to operate in. Uh, there are many realms of life uh, and you know, business is, is one of them. Even if you're an employee, in some sense, you're a business with one customer, your employer. And even then, you, you change jobs from time to time, so there's always in everybody's life sooner or later there's this need to uh, sort of present how to cope with that and I've come up with over the years a very simple answer uh, and it's not difficult like some of the other things we've talked about were difficult this one is not too difficult it's the notion of basically viewing the business world as not fake but let's call it a role play. Um, that is to say, it is business world is an environment where there are rules of behavior and there are rules of interaction and there are rules defining whether someone should want to interact with you or not based on whether you can do something for them or they can do something for you, all of that kind of stuff. And uh, if you view it as uh, I've got to be careful how I say this, but kind of acting like there's you who you really are and then there's you doing your best to be the person who you need to be for business. Uh, so I'm not talking about fake smiles. I'm talking about, oh, I need to present a certain way and I'm going to present that way and I know what that is and I'm not going to make the mistake. Here's the crux of it. I'm not going to make the mistake of thinking that that person who is presenting is presenting me. 
I mean, I'm in there somewhere, but I'm presenting a version of me that is suitable for the purpose of this meeting or this convention or this networking event that I'm at. And if you take this too far, you can be a fake. And that's not what I'm suggesting at all. If you don't believe in what you're doing, if, uh, if, you're, if you have one of these jobs or you, somehow you've fallen into a situation where the stuff that you're doing, you, you don't believe in, uh, no, that's, I'm not, I mean, you know, I guess you could just kind of fake it and put up with it until your situation is better. And maybe a lot of us do that sometimes. But in the long run, I'm not talking about playing a role in order to be fake. I'm talking about playing a role in order to meet the needs of the situation and not worrying too much that the person that you're presenting is not your full self or even necessarily your true self. Um, you can reserve your true self for those situations where you're dealing with people you want to reveal your true self to. And uh, you can Every time you need to go into a business situation, you can say to yourself, okay, I'm, I'm putting on my business hat right now, putting on my business overcoat right now, whatever that looks like to you. And for the remainder of the day or the remainder of the meeting or the remainder of the time that it's needed, I'm gonna play the role of that businessman. And how do I know, or businesswoman, how do I know, uh, how to do that? Well, uh, look around at other people who are doing it well and say, I don't want to become that because I'm already who I'm supposed to be. But for the purposes of getting this particular job done, for the purposes of meeting some need, I'm going to present as that for today. Not fake, but let's say a structured version of you that does certain things and doesn't do certain other things. And here's the most important part, doesn't pretend that that is you. Because if the moment that you pretend that it's you, that you have to become that person and therefore lose who you really are, it's inauthentic. Uh, instead of losing yourself, keep yourself and imagine that you are an actor in a play. An actor in a play doesn't forget who they are. I mean, they might momentarily, but it's, they don't say, oh, you know, I am no longer myself. I am this other person. No, they say I am myself playing the role of that other person for the purpose of this play. And you can do the same thing. You can say I am myself playing the role of this employee, business person, sales person, whatever it is that you need to be for the purpose of excelling in the role that I've taken on here. It's necessary for me to, to present as that person and it is just as necessary for me not to lose myself. I don't know whether this is confusing, but I hope that what I've managed to convey is that in different realms of life, it is sometimes very useful to say, I know how to do this job and I will zip up inside the suit that is necessary for me to present as the person doing that job for now. But I will never, never, ever forget that I am the one inside and I am the one deciding what to do and I am channeling the person that's necessary for this particular role. And I might be good at it and I might not be good at it yet. I might have to become good at it over the years. I might have to pretend, no, not pretend. I might have to um, imagine that uh, I was my aspirational self or someone else that I would like to aspire to for this circumstance but I never ever have to put down who I really am. And it's perfectly okay in a business situation to authentically present yourself according to the needs of the situation, as long as you don't forget who you are inside. 
Uh, if you like this, you can go ahead and subscribe. There will be more talks like this. If you don't like it, or if you just want to make a comment, something that you liked, something that you wish would improve, leave me something in the comments. As always, just if you see me in person, grab me and let me know what you liked, what you didn't like. And let me know if there's anything that you'd like me to talk about. And don't forget to play me at double speed if I'm speaking too slowly. Thank you.